Okay guys, so the next one that I wanted to show you was the call to action button. Options are title, which is going to be the title of your call to action, the button URL, the button text, the background color, uh, text color, <clears throat> text orientation, center left right, uh, use background color, yes or no, do you want to use this background color, yes, no. And then the content. Uh, another thing you can do too, because I know I've been talking about the text color light and dark a lot, uh, this will change the header title to light and dark and usually the text, but you can also take the text, hover over it, and then go down here to text color and change the text color to whatever you want as well, and that will change the color that hovers over the background. So we have all that up, so now let's go ahead and take a look over here and you can see the call to action button next to the text right here and you can actually make this a lot smaller too as well if all you want is a image or something like that and the call now or even just a call now button in which case I would leave out the title and then just put in all the info for the button. So if you were to do that then I will show you how that would look and we will re-preview and this of course is still going to have the text in it but you could take the text out and have just the button and then it will just create a button like this with a call now that leads to a page that you choose for the call now button And next, we are going to take a look at portfolio. Um, I don't have any other categories in right now besides the blog category because this is just a demo site. But when you do have more categories, it's going to show the categories here. And you can click and choose which categories you want and put your work into these categories and these pages and then you can go ahead and create a portfolio. But let's go ahead and go to the Divi theme where they should have a demo of what the portfolio looks like. Okay guys, so I did not have a demo of this on mine, but this is what the portfolio Folio will look like and then you just click through and that's going to lead to an article along with skills and posted date and then of course there are other ones as well but this is the main portfolio layout and then you have a portfolio layout that will look like this, where it has all of your work like this and different categories laid out like that with a sidebar. And then you have the full width portfolio layout and the full width standard portfolio layout. So this is each of these are displaying a category. So you would want to set this up in the categories section. And then once you click through a course, each of these looks the same as the other ones. It just lays it out differently so that you can lay it out the way that you want for your portfolio.